Welcome back once again. Now open our open your Firebase and add a new project and we can call it Expense Manager F and select your country and accept and next. In this part we will station our application on Firebase database. Select continue and now select Android application and in here we need to add our package name. So copy copy package name of your project and paste it here and you can add a nickname and we can also add our sign in method sign in sign in report and copy this one and now it's optional you can add so now download this google service json and copy this one and now change it android to project and inside this app folder we need to paste this json file and now again move to android and copy this class path and open up build.gradle and paste it here and now we need to copy this one and open build.gradle at the end we need to add this one and now paste this one and now done now open this authentication and sign in method and we need to enable this sign in method enable and save so i think now all functionality done inside this firebase database and now open this project and we need to add some gradle and some firebase library make sure that you added firebase database firebase auth firebase core firebase client firebase ui database and card view and design library maybe in your case you will see different version of this gradle library so make sure that you added all this library and that is required if you want to work with firebase now open this registration activity so now we need to create the object of our firebase auth so we can call it first comment out here firebase and we can call it private firebase auth is going to be a mod and inside this on create method we can call it mod is equal to firebase auth dot get instance firebase auth dot get instance Now amoth dot amoth dot sign in not sign in dot create the user with email and password and first parameter is for our email and second parameter is for our password and dot add on complete listener new on complete listener And in here we need to add if condition so if task dot is successful that means if our registration is successfully done then we need to show a toast message or we need to add a uh, and we need to redirect to our home activity so first we need to add a toast message so toast dot make text get application context and we can call it registration complete toast dot length short dot show else if registration is not complete then we need to show a toast message so we can call it toast dot make text get application context 
and we can call it registration failed and toast dot length short dot show Now we need to add a progress dialog. So private progress dialog, we can call it M dialog. So M dialog is equal to new progress dialog and this. and now inside this button m progressed m dialog dot set message we can call it processing we can call it processing So now m dialog dot dismiss. That means if registration will complete, then we would like to dismiss our progress dialog. And if not complete, then we also need to dismiss our progress dialog. So m dialog dot dismiss. Now we need to create a new activity that should be our home activity. So select gallery, select empty activity and we can change this to home activity and to finish. And we need to start activity. It will take few time to build this cradle. Okay, done. So now we need to add a intent here. So now and this is our registration activity we added our all functionality for create user with email and password field and when our registration will complete we should redirect to our home activity that we created few minutes ago so we can call it start activity new intent get application context and now we can call it home activity dot class so if our registration is complete then we will redirect to our home activity so i think our registration functionality done and now we can move for our login activity so now hit this run button. So here is our emulator over there and this is our login activity. So right now we don't have any login details so we need to open our registration activity. So now add a email. We can call it az at the rate gmail.com and we need to add a password. And we can call it one two three four five six and select registration 
and click this registration button but we can't see our so we can see our post message registration is complete but we did not see our progress dialog we'll solve this it later so now open this firebase database and open this user then we can see our email address that means our registration is successfully done and we redirect to our home activity but we did not see our progress dialog and the reason is that we forget to add mdialog.show we did not say we need to show this dialog that's why we did not see our progress dialog now add this mdialog.show and run your application once again now open our registration activity and create another another user so you can call it d at the rate gmail.com and choose a password we can call it one two three four five six and the registration and now we can see our progress dialog so our registration is complete and if we refresh this firebase database then we will be able to see our new user so we can see our new user so that's it i think for this part so in this part we complete our registration activity and in our next part hopefully we will work for our login activity